Here we go. Another video. Proper workout. Mm. You used to have two things of workout, as I said. The one where you can do it and get a major benefit out of it. And the one where you can do it and get a benefit out of it. Easy people. Based on those situations in depth in two words, you used to be able to apply it to your use whether you are sad, depressed, angry, or happy. Now, with that being said, when you do your training, everybody says it, train to your limits, but do not hurt yourself. That is a false statement. People do not apply a statement to actuality. You can take this. You go in the military. They say, train your 100%. Give it all you got. You do it one day. You do it another day. You do it another day. In a month, in a month, damn, people are dropping out because, you know, people are sprinting eight miles. People are doing things and they not having the proper recovery time or and then the excuse for that situation is to break you down to build you up stronger but when the times get out they eh you're not hurt we don't know but you know for what I'm seeing it has happened that's right it has happened you want when you work out or train both for both physical and mental situation you want to train for quality over quantity anyways that's that's this simple quality over quantity people uh, based on your goals based on the desired need what you need to know is that when you work out you want to train where you get a beneficial out it depends on how much benefits you want you do not want to train to you your limits where it will hurt you permanently ever or even at temporary time where you can go where you can't do that plan recovery or proper recovery like two minor days or six or two minor hours of sex and get back into it if you if that is not your goal and you are hurting yourself then you can say development conditions conditions and now you're not on that level anymore then whoever trained with you whoever told you this is dumb that's right i said dumb and actually i say they're smart because they probably did on purpose just to make you worse than them anyway you do not run um, based on your plan, based on your goals, more than that, where you're. Uh, I've seen people who did that basically, and they broke their knee. Literally, broke their knee. Just snap out of place. Open factor. You do. You do not work out for when you do that. Let me go back. When you do that, now you three months out of training and you can't work out because you know train hundred percent go be up beyond. But you're not doing it correctly, and you know it's not been. Somehow you feel it's not been correctly. Of course you're gonna feel it because you feel like your knees coming out. And they're not doing it correctly. When you train to do combat sports or a sport, you based on your goals and your wants and your needs and your situation understands, you should have to one way you develop some benefit and one way you develop major benefit out it. You should be able to no matter the situation, at the percentage of that training, of that level, you developing a benefit out of it. Which is why it's take me for example. I have training where I do, where I'm around people in gyms, 
what I ha don't have the proper equipment that I need. And then I have the training where I do where it it really don't matter. I'm gonna get it get in anyway. The percentages I put out will be higher than the percentages I put out while I'm around the people there are. I can be at one percent and I will get more benefit. I am out at that five percent when I'm around other people. So it or around people who don't deserve the privilege of working out or trying to take attempt my workout or trying to attempt to use that against me or claim it's there or use it against someone and etc. It is something that everybody says, this is what I have no problem saying. What I tell you how it works and apply for it, don't worry about it because you are not getting my stuff. I will simply tell you your stuff and how to do it. Um, you should train in a way what is beneficial to you. You should not go a long time, like a month, and not feel a... Hold on. You should not go a month and not feel a benefit out of it. Just hold on. I'm gonna cough the cough. I'm gonna come back with this. Alright, fix that. Alright, back to the conversation at hand. Know the quality of quality of your workout. Make sure it benefits you. Don't matter how you work now, you should be getting a form of benefit out of it. Um, I already said no is no you better than yourself. Discuss that for someone who claim to be knowledgeable and knows what they're doing to put you more than what you are yourself without damage you in the long term unless that is your goal. Um, it's not that hard. It's something you should already know. Quality always be quantity. Uh, you can take that example of a Glock, which is a handgun versus a 45. If one of you two play chicken with each other and you try to shoot each other in the arm, you guess what's going to happen? The 45 is going to do more to you, obviously. But you can reverse that round and say if that person with that Glock shooting at you with that 45 at the same spot you shooting with them, but... They end up doing something to the bullet where it does way more damage than a 45 clock. Way more. Quality over quantity, people. That's when that implies for don't slip. Don't get caught slipping. You might trip a banana, but make sure you catch yourself. Anyway, um, mm, you can do a hundred push-ups and then when you go to proper training and it's counting those push-ups, you are not doing it on their standards. Now, this is the from where who based on you think on what your goals are and come to the difference. Um, some people believe when you do a push-up, you're supposed to be have your body at a Basically, a push up angle from the ground. Look forward the whole time you're doing the few exercise, keep your body straight, and then do it. When you come down, your chin at least supposed to come close to the ground or touch the ground. We won't watch it, different people. Come back up and lock your elbows. Now, if you're going by that place and that's the standard, then go for it. But if you go and buy a place and that person trains you knows that that's a standard and they training you, then you should be aware of the fact that you need to do your research before you do it. I'm not before they even doing it, you should at least look into it to make sure you get it correct and make sure they come correct. So when you do do it, you have no problem in knowing that they are training you to the fullest about how you supposed to be, but you and then you try to give you all. Yes, I people. I don't say these words out of no I see it happen to some people and I've seen it happen to some organization and gyms and military. Stuff like that. Around the world. Um 
I don't mind weightlifting. I don't mind calisthenics or polymetrics or anything else like that. Just make sure based on your goal, you get what you want out of it. And do not try to step out that lane in terms of you're saying you better than that person or you can do more than that person when that person doesn't do it or they do do it and you, you, you get basically you get what I said but to me when that person does that that they obviously not getting a quality type of training um because if you are stepping out your lane then you should be able to do that stuff and the person you're trying to compare yourself to stuff as well not on the same level as they are more than they are because if you are keeping up with them then you are not better than them even though they have been doing it, but they have not been putting the same in effort you it does not matter it's don't basically you said know what you want know your quality if a person who have high standards actually does a quality training their mind frame will be different their understanding of that training will be different as I said in my educational vision the application of that training will be more than just that training you can't say you bench press 600 because bench press is a stationary workout it's pretty easy to do because on the end you're at a proper 100% your standard level you're just holding your core in place and you are moving your arms and then you are able to do that and able to do a bunch of push-ups a lot of push-ups and I mean a lot if you can do that then there's no need for you to say you're better than that person because that person does not need to do push-ups to do that amount because when that person does those band practice it is comparable to them to doing a push-up and they are doing a lot more push-up than you um, most people who fully focus dev dedicate on bench pressing cannot do a proper push-up or more than the average push-up is this but the people from what I know, the people that does the cor correctness, the high quality of push ups, high, like comparable to high quality of bench presses, that when they can do not as good as bench pressing, but they are more than the average. You're not that difficult quality over quantity, people know the workout and know the stuff physical education have fun